New day, new things to learn. Today we're gonna learn how to use modifiers in Blender. Use modifiers, put it in Blender. Probably we're not gonna do that. Hello guys and welcome back. My name is Kaber from Visual Cube, and in this tutorial we are gonna do some modifiers in Blender not in that blender. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to click that notification bell. Right now, we're gonna go and jump in Blender. So right now we are in clear 3D space in Blender. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to create 3D model. So we're gonna create some simple 3D model because without 3D model, we can't use modifiers. For that 3D model, we are gonna use some simple techniques from previous video, extrude, bevel, and loop cuts, and a lot of other options. So the first thing what I'm gonna do for that model is we're gonna start from cube. So I'm gonna add a cube over here in this 3D space, shift A to add mesh and click cube. G to grab, Z on to move on Z axis, move it somewhere around here, uh, snap, right click, snap and selection to grid. And this uh, cube is gonna, gonna be snapped on our grid. Okay, tab to go in edit mode, Click uh, right click on your mouse and go here in subdivide and to subdivide our cube. Okay, so the next thing is to select faces and unselect this box. Click C to circle select. I'm going to select over here. I'll make sure that everything is okay. Click E to extrude, as to scale down. I'm going to scale it down like this. It to extrude, extrude it up, and I'm gonna scale this somewhere around here. E to, oh, I'm sorry, it to extrude, as to scale, and let's see, it to extrude, as to scale down, it to extrude, and we're gonna add here E, S to scale up a little bit like this, and again, E to extrude over here, we can scale this something like this over here and E to extrude again and move this up and again S to scale. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to recreate this shape and when you finish that, we can start using modifiers. Okay, after you finished your model, we are going to start using modifiers. Okay, so how to go in modifier menu. So I'm gonna go here at our right hand side. We have a lot of options here on this bar and modifier option is over here. So click here on end, we have modifiers. So in this bar over here, we have add modifiers. And we click, if we click there, we have a lot of modifiers and a lot of options there. So the first option or first modifier, which we are gonna use is subdivision surface. And basically what this uh, subdivision surface does is it makes your it makes your uh, model smoother and basically with this you can add uh, more subdivisions and more subdivisions means uh, more smoother so over here in this menu we can we can change some some values of that subdivisions so you're gonna go here on viewport and on viewport you can uh, choose how much subdivisions uh, you want on your surface or on your model so for example, if I click here to viewport three and also change the here on render three, and we can see that this option adds more subdivisions on our on our model. Also, you can see that we have a lot of faces and it's it's too obvious. And if you want to create this to be smoother, it's so simple. Just click here, select your model, click right click and shade smooth. And we are created our model to be smoother. And also we can see that this model has a little curve down there. So I want to create this to be uh, a little bit flat down there just to, to look like the uh, this model is laying on ground. So I'm going to click tab to go in edit mode. So you can see that we have this uh, low poly of this model in edit mode and I'm gonna go down here and select these four faces down there and click E to extrude and make it flat. And we can see that right now 
this model is laying on ground. So I duplicated a couple of times this, this model over here without subdivision. And so I want to show you more modifiers. So I'm going to select this model over here and go in add modifier. And in add modifier, I'm going to select array. And we can see that this array modifier adds automatically another copy of this object. And basically with this array modifier, you can create thousands and thousands of your model. And that is going to be amazing for your time. So go over here, we can count, we can create more, more models or more array. And we can see here, we can uh, do some offset like this, maybe this over here, put it up a little bit and we can create a stairs. So I'm going to move this here. So select this model, add modifier and click over here on wireframe. And basically with this option, you can create cages or something like that for your games if you want. And this is amazing option. And also if you want uh, more, more lines over here, so you can go here in edit mode, click control R to add more loop cuts, add one over here, add one over here, right click and go again and we have uh, more wireframes. And the last option which I'm going to show you is a screw modifier. So go here, add, and go here on screw. This option automatically creates for us a rounded shapes. This, this option is amazing for creating uh, bottles, for creating screws, and a lot of other options. So you can go here and you can mess around with these options. You can see here uh, what it can do. Screw like this, you can see that makes this a screw, screw shape over here. You can change axis over here and it automatically creates another shape, which is cool. So as you can see here, we have a lot of options over here on this uh, modifier and we're going to use this all options in some other in some other videos. So stay tuned. OK, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you learned how to use modifiers. If you do, so click that like button, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So see you in the next video.